Oh, look at the, uh, re read the question. I'll, I'll magnify it a little bit more. You can read it. We are, we are discussing equilibrium of some bodies. Hmm? So from tension, no? so we'll, we'll discuss some problems on equilibrium of objects here. Two spheres A and B weighing 175 Newton respectively and with a corresponding radii is given. Uh, this is a container. So you can see the, determine the, are placed in a container. The container is what the rectangular shape you can see. I'll, I'll give color for the container. I think it's fine now. Look at this. Uh, this is not something bigger. I think you, you, you take uh, tomatoes or apple or some any round rounded vegetable. You're going to put in a cylindrical vessel. You can stack them, no? Two, three, four, five. Then see what condition will arise. Finish over. Nothing big. It's Ramachandra Reddy. So something you, you, you said some doubt. Okay, ask it. I'll uh, just unmute and ask it. I'll, I'll clarify it now only. If thread is having a mass, then what will happen? We have to discuss that like a variable mass concept. Things will be a little bit very complicated. So once we enter into conservation of linear momentum, then we'll see what conditions will come. Because along X and Y axis, the mass will be varying. So the mass of the rope has to be taken that way. Okay, now get into the problem. Huh? I have to show the, the forces that are acting on them. Draw, draw the free body diagram. There, there's no other way. You have to straight away draw the free body diagram. Okay, I'll, I'll proceed like this. Uh, this is a container. Such a big diagram, not possible. First, let me draw the spear.
Okay, some uh, that identical shape. So the, the diagram is what I put it. So let the center of spheres, you indicate that one. The, these are very important, the center of spheres. We know this distance. So now get first all the forces that are acting. Two identical spheres, two spheres, uh, masses are different. So the weight you indicate, weight of this, MA, MAG, or directly write WA, no problem. Hmm? This is WB. This is what container, no? Okay, let's come for that. Normal contact force. Yes, uh, you, you can see the sphere B will in contact with the vertical wall of container, so there'll be normal contact force. In what direction I have to show? It will be in this direction. So call this is uh, N N B. You write it similarly. Here N A. How, how that NA and NB should pass through the centers, should pass through O1 and O2. Should pass through O1 and O2. Because they are normal contact force, no? Then, uh, any other forces, both the spheres are in contact, no? So along common normal, so draw a line for common normal. There's a common normal. So along common normal, there should be forces acting. So that I'll show by this one. So here this is N. Now what is this N? By sphere A on sphere B. What is this N? By sphere B on sphere A. So under action of all this, they are in equilibrium. So we don't know uh, how to... Sir, one more force away, sir. Hmm? Normal force. This will be normal no, normal forces. And I'll give some different color. Okay, fine. This one. Now, what, what is this N? What is this N? This N is by the. This N is what? By the sphere A on sphere B. What about this N? By the sphere B on sphere A. So there will be another force, right, for circle A. What From the base of the container to yeah, that, the... that one I'll, I'll, I'll come. I'll come later on. Later on. Yeah, this one. So is this okay? Normal contacts. And then uh, any other. So the this is in contact. So one more. What happened? We have to show that that you call it as N A Y or, or N C. You write it. Let me indicate with black color. So shall I shall I show it here? And why you write it? Okay, fine. So these are the forces that are acting. So somehow directly come to the any any some some directions are needed. No, how that N will act, that direction is needed. So take help of the triangle. So here we have a triangle. O one O two. Do do we know O one O two? Before that. Is yes, sir. Yeah, that is given. Yes, and we know radii yes, also. Over no two. So we know radii also. And they are given this 200 millimeter. So I'll do one thing. Till here is what we are very sure this is 2 RA, no? The distance 2 RA. Or, or it will be like this. Huh? This is RA. Will I agree? And, and this will be the RB. This you call say some x. So what is R A plus R B plus x equal to? Two hundred. R A plus R B plus x is equal to everything is in millimeter. I'll continue with the same. So two hundred millimeter. We know R A R B. So we got the value of x. What is value of x from triangle? Seventy five, sir. Yes, sir. O one, O two. So we know this should be equal to R A plus R B. And this is x, so we got the value of theta. So from here I'll get x, then from here I'll get the sine theta. So once I know sine theta, then I can resolve all the forces and write a condition for equilibrium. Then I'll get all the forces 
N Y N A N B and all that for me. Mm, able to uh, make it out. So X will be how much? Anybody? So seventy five. Seventy five, sir. Sir. Seventy five millimeter. So come for this sine theta. Sir. Uh, we should get cos theta and sine theta. You know. Call this is Y. R A plus R B will be. One twenty five. So. Theta one fifty three, sir. Okay, th these are the values what we have. So uh, let, let's calculate x. We know so y also will calculate it. So x square plus y square plus r square. Then y is hundred. Y is hundred, hundred millimeter. So sine theta is equal to y by r. In what value? Sine th just some. Four by, by five. Four by five. Cos theta will be three, three by, by five. Three by five. Okay, now. We have everything. So come for individual sphere and write forces for. Like, a, what are the forces that are responsible for equilibrium? So this should be the N A. This should be the weight, and and that N Y. It's a you you can also show. Okay, let me here only, and that N is here like this, no. So here we took this is theta. Am I right? So this will be theta. Equating forces will be much easier. So then for the sphere B, this should be the n. This should be the weight, and W B, and this is n B. So this should be the theta. No, write all the force of that one. So along x-axis. No doubt. Ah, oh, yeah. Sir, uh, net force on the container is not balanced, sir, in the y direction. Container, I'll, I'll uh, container. It's very heavy. No, I'll keep it. I'll, I'll. It's a fixed. Okay, fine. No problem. Okay, sir. Now on the sphere, can you equate the forces? N A minus. N cos theta equal to zero. Then along y-axis, N y minus W a minus N sine theta equal to zero. On the sphere B, the forces acting will be N B minus N cos theta equal to zero. Then N sine theta minus W b equal to zero. So we know W b weight of the sphere B. We know sine theta will get N. If we know N, you'll get N B. Then, if you know n and you know w, you'll get n y. I think we'll get all the things. No? <coughs> Completed. This okay. Do calculation later on. Sir, will you tell the answer? Sir, I'll check it. It's a calculations. I think I had to search somewhere. The only question I brought it. Okay. I'll, I'll wait. I'll, I'll, I'll I to search it. Uh, anyway, like uh, in the end of the class, no. In there, I'll enter the answers. I'll send you. Huh? <coughs>